Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we've come to Britain's earliest seaside resort. I'm here in Kent in Margate. This place is pretty famous for quite a lot of things. For example, there is a Shell Grotto here, a theme park or an amusement park that is over 100 years old. And one thing Margate does have a lot of is swimming pools in the sea and also has a very famous old Lido that we're going to check out. But we're going to start the tour here on the famous harbour-ish of Margate. Let's go and check it out. So in the distance you can see the famous uh, tower there in Margate, I believe that's residential and just behind it of course is Dreamland and the, uh, the seafront which we'll check out in a minute. But we're going to go to the spot where I first ever heard about Margate when I was a kid and I was watching Only Fools and Horses and Del Boy sat with Rodney on the end here. We'll go and check it out. See it is a small harbour because there are a few boats in here, however at low tide that's why there's these big steps to get down to them one thing i've not seen yet is jellied eels anywhere i'm sure we'll come across them question is should i try a jellied eel i don't know if i can stomach it to be honest i think the bench they must have sat on was around here somewhere with the lighthouse in the distance and Mrs Booth, the Shell Lady of Margate, which was introduced back in 2008. You can also see a replica of this as well in the uh, Shell Grotto, which we're going to check out in just a little bit. Look at that, you can hear the church going, can you hear it? And if you're short on cash, there is something free to go and check out whilst you're here in Margate. Um, you can check out the Art Gallery that's the Turner Contemporary, which is behind me. But if you do have a little bit of cash to spend, I suggest you come here. This is the old Kent Market, just on the seafront, and here they pretty much do everything. It's an indoor market that does lots of food. They even do tattooing. They sell vintage clothes, jewelry, and so much more. Let's go and check it out. So making me hungry right now. Look at that big bus. They're almost like little shops that you can go in. What's this one? A coffee shop, I believe. Look at this old jukebox. CDs in there. Let's go upstairs quickly, have a look from above all these quirky little shops look there's even a clothes shop in here as well look at that see the bus over here has been turned into a, a takeaway you can actually sit upstairs and have your food how cool is that so we were just over there we're now going to walk down the seafront and uh, check out Margate Beach, have a brief walk into the town and also something that is quite unique for a British seaside. They have something called tidal pools which means obviously when the tide's out there's, there's pretty much nothing to swim in but uh, when the tide's in you can actually swim pretty safely in an enclosed area of water which is obviously called a tidal pool. Got some sea defences just like in Blackpool with the, uh, the steps going down to the water. It's like how many seagulls are here? Blimey. But here's the beach in Margate. It's actually really nice. I feel almost 
overdressed today walking around in shorts and t-shirt so the building there obviously is i believe offices or apartments i'm not quite sure let me know in the comments but uh it doesn't look overly great on the seafront but if they took that away you would never know it was margate because it kind of stands out as a margate landmark as well as the old building that you can see just in front of it in brick with the old writing on it is dreamland and there's there's a big sign called dancing on the side i'll come to that in just a moment and any of you that watch my videos quite often from uh, Norfolk in Great Yarmouth you'll know that there is also an amusement that look exactly like that but actually a little bit more flamboyant in Great Yarmouth because that's got no lights on it but the uh, the flamingo amusements here in Margate feels like you're in London doesn't it so if anyone could tell me in the comments as to why a lot of the seaside resorts on the south coast go for this green paint on the uh, on the prom let me know some have it yellow some have it green anyone that likes the weather spoons there's one just there something for the kids there on the beach I used to love stuff like that as a kid and here is the famous dreamland here in Margate. I love the fact that the frontage has never been changed. It still says dancing on the side of it. Cinema, ballroom, amusement park. This is the entrance to dreamland. It's not currently open, but they've kindly given me uh, some footage to show you what it's all about because it's over 100 years old now and it's gone through lots of changes in the past but it's now kind of built itself around live music and actually vintage fairground attractions and as you come down here you can see some of the history some of the old photos and some amazing and some very odd rides in the past and health and safety wasn't a thing back then but what an iconic building though, look at that. I haven't brought my shorts with me, which I'm a bit gutted about, but uh, without looking out of place, I'm gonna have a walk around the edge of it. So I've just checked out the air temperature, which is 27 degrees here in Margate today. It's actually uh, one of the hottest days of the year and the water temperature is actually 21 degrees. Hence why there's a lot of people enjoying the water today. And you can probably see people standing in it because obviously it doesn't drop off here. The tide does go out quite far, which means it's very shallow water. So it's more like a paddling pool to be honest, but um, it's still nice to come and have a swim. Just try and not slip over because it looks a little bit uh, a bit green over there. It's probably why nobody is walking that side. I'm walking in all this um, green stuff, which is uh, quite slippy, but it feels weird. But I wish they had more of these around the country. Obviously the, uh, the conditions have to be just right really for when the tide goes out and the tide comes in. Obviously when you come down here when the tide's out, it looks completely different and kind of looks a little bit messy. But when the tide's in, it just looks like a normal pool-ish. It's just so much cooler walking here by the, uh, the water's edge. Like I say, not too deep, but um, unlike a swimming pool, there is bits of rubbish and bits of horrible seaweed so there you go on a day like today why not come and check it out you can see where the water goes in and goes out of the tidal pool so you know it won't stay in there as the tide goes out so does the water 
there's not many swimming pool steps that look like that <laughs> with seaweed and green algae on them. So it's a good idea to check the tide times because you could come down here and there's nothing to go in. So if you are planning to come down to Margate and you're traveling down by train, point of reference, the train station, which is actually behind me, if you see the large building there, you know you're obviously on the seafront. You literally just walk out and everything is in front of you. So leaving the beach behind, I'm heading down towards the old town. Looks like Margate has forgotten to take down their uh, Christmas decorations, it seems. So before we go into the old town, I think we should go and check out the Shell Grotto that was, um, well, discovered by accident. And the eeriest thing is that nobody knows why it was built and how, really. Um, I'm here on Grotto Hill going to the famous Margate Shell Grotto. Let's go and take a look inside. It's amazing when you look at the patterns and the intricate detail, even all of these tiny little shells were put in, it must have taken forever. So it's definitely worth checking out the old town of Margate because there's lots of little boutique shops down here. Some nice places to eat as well. Some really beautiful buildings. And there's lots of galleries you'll come across as well. And a lot of these are free to go in. Look at that. How old does this hotel look? Amazing. It's got the old fashioned doors and everything. This is on um, Duke Street, which is literally just behind the seafront. Almost feels Mediterranean. Look at that little pub called the lifeboat. How pretty is that? So it's a pretty small little town, but um, it's kind of like in a U shape from the seafront, so it's definitely worth checking out. Oh, there's an ice cream bar here. What do they do? Strawberry lemonade, OMG. I just noticed as well, on all these lights, the detailing of the, uh, the big fish on the bottom of them. Look at that. I thought there were slippers or shoes to begin with and I looked a little bit closer and realized it was like a, a fish or a duck or a dragon. Not quite sure what it is. Some kind of sea serpent. Let me know in the comments. Where I'm standing now is the remains of what used to be a very popular attraction back in the 1920s, an outside swimming area for families to come and to enjoy the weather and the water. This is Margate Lido. And obviously there's changing rooms and stuff 
underneath here um, which have all been kind of left abandoned there was talks about regenerating the area and restoring it back to its former glory but as you can see not much has been done in fact over this side it looks pretty bleak let's go and check it out so you want to see the stairs where you used to be able to go down to the Lido and as you can see it's definitely seen better days back in the 20s this place would have been um, an amazing place to come on a day like this in fact it probably would have been packed with families children there's even areas here where there were special areas just for uh, women and children like a little plunge pool to go in as well and I believe the entrance is that is further down but um, look what it looks like now so sad state of affairs so this is basically where uh, the pool would have been I know it sounds weird, but the, uh, the graffiti makes it a little bit brighter. <laughs> and actually, it's not all graffiti. There's some pretty good artwork here too. The original sign is still hanging on in there. In fact, the only thing that's been kept in pretty good nick is the actual sign. Now, I don't know whether it's been partly restored or it's literally the same as it has been. And it is worth actually having a walk around Margate because um, every so often you'll come across the smallest bit of beach, but also the most prettiest as well. Look at this. That looks so nice. And someone down there having a barbecue smallest beach ever but really nice so that was my tour of margate i hope you liked it if you did please make sure you give this video a thumbs up hit subscribe and click that notification bell so you know when i upload a new video i'll see you next time